Oh, welcome to Rocky Jones Fitness. I'm here with my good friend and Gumbad Nunzio, <laughs> former WWE and TNA superstar. How's it going, Nuns? It's going all right. It's good to see you, Rock. It's good, good to, to be see back. you, my good friend. To be back. Good Very to nice. see you. Now, Nuns, how long have you been wrestling? Altogether, including my training, I would say 18 years. 18 Altogether. years. Long time to be in the ring. Right. Long time. Very long time. Yep. Now, I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. No, it's, how'd you I get hope start I know the answer. <laughs> how did you get started in the wrestling business? Well, funny that you say that. <laughs> Obviously, for the fans who don't know, this is the man who trained me 18 years ago. Um, but I was an amateur wrestler in high school, and uh, I was captain of my wrestling team. And in the summertime, I used to always go to wrestling camp on the off time just to keep. Otherwise, you would have to go without training until the school year. And up there, I met a guy named Jerry Fazio, who was a uh, professional wrestler. And he used to wear a mask. He wrestled as the executioner. But um, I didn't know it was him because obviously he wears a mask. But word got around that there was an a instructor that was an ex-pro wrestler. And of course, when I heard that, being a huge fan all my life, I had to go find out who this guy is. And when I found him, I talked his ear off enough where uh, he said, I'll give you a, a phone number to a school and um, we'll take it from there. And that's what he did. And that's when I came down and met you. And that's when my training started, I believe, in 1991. 1991. Yes, exactly. 1991. Yeah. Now, you've had many, many matches. Many uh, matches. You've wrestled all over the world. What is one of the most memorable moments in your career? One of my most memorable moments in my career, I've had quite a few of them, but I would say the biggest memorable moment in my career would have to be uh, performing in WrestleMania 20. Uh, mainly for a couple of reasons. It's at Madison Square Garden, which as, as a kid I used to go watch wrestling there all the time, uh, let alone Ranger games, Nick games, so that was like, a, that, that arena right. I always loved. But, of course, uh, WrestleMania 1, my father brought me and my brother to. So I got a chance to be there for WrestleMania 1. Whoever knew, 20 years later, I was going to be performing in WrestleMania 20. And I had my mother and father there to watch me. So, obviously, I would have to say that had to be the biggest memorable uh, moment of my career. It's quite a rush. Quite a rush. Quite a rush. I can remember my first time in Madison Square Garden. That's right. 26,000 people. And you get into that ring and you look up and you see the people way up there. And they're about that big. And you get... <laughs> Like I said, it's quite a rush. Yes, especially because it's Madison Square Garden. <laughs> now, changing the subject a little, um, as a professional athlete, you know, it's very rigorous, and you have to obviously be in top shape all the time. What do you do to keep yourself in top physical condition? Well, what I do now is a lot different than I did when I first started wrestling. When I first started wrestling, I wanted to put on weight and, and be bigger. And in order to do that is uh, you eat 10 times more foods, the, the right foods. When I say eat foods, I'm not talking about fattening foods, right. the right foods and uh, lift heavy weight, less reps. Uh, through the years, I, I took on a lot of injuries with my knees and my elbows and stuff like that, and I just can't lift the heavy weight anymore. So uh, because I'm where I want to be, once you get to where you want to be sometimes, you just got to tweak your diet a little bit. I, I eat clean four days a week, and I cheat three days a week. And on my cheat days, I eat anything when it comes from you know ice cream, donuts, anything I want. But after that third day, I jump right back on that diet and I'm strict for four days. And that way it keeps you looking the way you want to look. But what works for me might not work for you exactly. or somebody else. So now, to... something that we want to tell everybody out there, you're able to get away with having those little treats three times a week because you train at a very, very high intensity type workout. Yes. Now you're doing cardio, how many days a week? Well, I do cardio, I shoot for seven. Now sometimes I only get five or six. Seven I days a week of cardio. Seven. For 45 minutes to an hour. I don't believe in that 20 minute thing, 15 minutes, people, I don't believe in that. Your heart don't get going until 20, 25 minutes in. And then for you to stop at 30, to me it, does, it just doesn't work. So the days I feel it, I go I do 45. Sometimes when I'm at that 45 and I feel I can do more, I'll do another 15. But when I get on there, I always want to do the hour, but I'll never do less than 45. It depends how I feel at the 45 minute mark if right. I want to go to the, the Now also with your training, you're, you're training a little different with the weights also. Yes, yes, what I do with the weights now, like I said before, I don't do, I don't do uh, heavy weight, um, less reps. Now I put lighter weight on and I do more reps and I take no breaks. And so I do you're negative. doing circuit training. Circuit training. It's circuit training. Circuit training. And I do uh, negatives, which is I'll do maybe eight curls and then I'll hold the weight and I'll just hold it and go down slowly then I'll bring it up and I'll hold it again and go down slowly then I'll do it with this arm and those are called negatives and that just keeps the pump and it just keeps you right lean looking 
Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why you can get away with having those extra couple days because we don't suggest that for everyone. No, now we're no. talking about a world-class athlete and he needs the additional calories because he's burning so many calories. But for the average person out there, we would never suggest that you take three days in your, no. in your week and uh, have your little treats. Maybe one day a week if you're going to do it, but you know we like to eat clean one most of the time. Does, yeah. But however, you're training at such a high intensity level, you can get away with it. Yes, and what works for me, like we said before, don't work for somebody else. So somebody else might not be able to get away with something exactly. like that. Exactly. So, well, you know, you and I have a little unfinished business, my friend. We do. Yeah, we do. Why don't we step into the squared circle and settle up now? Kind of like teacher versus student. Yeah, like you know, grasshopper and master pup. Let's do it. Hang on, hang on. Let me, let me take care of this for you. Oh, there you go. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to get hurt. me up. That's all. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, I was doing it.